Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do a TBR for you for you guys. So pretty much last minute last night I decided I'm going to participate in Booktubeathon, which is a week-long readathon that takes place at the very end of July. It's hosted by Ariel over at Ariel Bissette. I'll have her channel linked down below. Like I said, this is pretty last minute, but I saw a lot of people putting their TBR videos up, so I thought I would try check it out for myself and I decided to participate. So like I said, this is a week-long readathon that takes place at the end of July. I'll have all the links to everything you guys need to know about it down below if you guys want to participate yourself. But pretty much you have to fulfill a list of seven questions over that week and I'm really excited to show you guys what I picked for the TBR. So none of these books were on my TBR for the month of July and I'm really excited about all of them. So I'm going to jump right in and get started. So challenge number one is to read a book with a person on the cover. So for this I went with Truth Witch and this is by Susan Nard. This is a young adult fantasy series that follows two best friends, they're both witches, and one of them is a truth witch, which is a very rare type of witch and very sought after. And she can obviously see when a person is lying or telling the truth, and the other I believe is a thread witch, which means she can see the connections between people, which I was hearing a lot about this book when it first came out, and then the sequel just came out I believe this past January or February. And everybody says it's really, really good. It did sound like something that would be right up my alley when I first started hearing about it. So I am definitely intrigued by this book and I'm excited to check it out. The next challenge for this uh, TBR is to read a hype book. For this, I am going with Clockwork Angel, which is book one in the Feral Devices series by Cassandra Clare. I started listening to the audiobook for this last October, I believe. And I never finished the audiobook, but I was really, really liking it when I was listening to it. And I also own the first book in the Mortal Instruments, which is City of Bones. So I definitely want to read that and then read the two books after that, then start this. So hopefully I'll start in time for Booktubeathon. Um, but I do really want to jump in to the Shadowhunter world for myself and see if I end up liking it. Because, like I said, I did like what I heard the first time I started reading the series. So we'll see. Challenge number three is to read a book in one day. So for this, I'm going with uh, Animal Farm. This is by George Orwell. This is a classic. One of my goals for this year was to read more classics. I've only read one out of the three I think I had on my t uh, list for that. And this combines a classic as well as my favorite genre, which is dystopian. So it's really, really short. It's only 101 pages, and I can't wait to dive in. The next challenge to read a book or the next two challenges, I'm actually combining them both, which you're allowed to do, is to read a, about a character that's very different from you, and also to challenge number five is to read a book completely outdoors. So for this, I am going with The Crowns of Croswell by D.E. Knight. This I got as an advanced reader's copy. Um, I believe it comes out at the end of July. It definitely sounds something that's right up my alley. It's a young adult fantasy series. That follows our main character, I believe her name is Ivy, and she finds herself crossing the border to another realm from her own, and there she goes to a boarding school, kind of like uh, Hogwarts and Harry Potter, which is what I've been hearing for people who've gotten physical copies of the arc, so definitely sounds something right up my alley, and I'm definitely very excited to dive into it. Question number six is to read a book that you bought because of the cover, and for this, Kind of on the same Harry Potter-esque world, I'm going with Ursi, which, uh, A Wizard of Ursi by Ursula K. Le Guin. I'm so sorry if I butchered that name. From what my uncle has told me, I got this for Christmas last year from him. This is that it's very similar to Harry Potter, so that drew me in right away. And this cover is absolutely beautiful. I love the purple with the owl on it. Like I said, Harry Potter this is a first book in, I believe, a six-book series, so... Definitely sounds like something I'm going to like. And the last challenge for the uh, readathon is to read seven books. For this, I am going with Loki's Wolves, and this is called Loki's Wolves: The Blackwell Pages. This is book one in the series, and this is by K. L. Armstrong and M. A. Marr. This is, from what I heard when I picked it up, a very similar to the series to Percy Jackson, which I read last year. I'm on the Heroes of Olympus series right now, and I'm really loving it. And that's pretty much all I know. I think it follows Norse mythology, so definitely something I'm going to like, I believe. And also, this cover is really, really pretty as well. So.
so I'm definitely excited to jump into this. And that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. If you guys are participating in this readathon, let me know down below what you guys plan on reading. And also, if you guys would like to see any vlogs while this uh, readathon is going on, let me know down in the comments below as well. I will have all the links to everything you need to know about this readathon down below as well in the description if you guys would like to participate for yourself. I also have all my social media linked down below if you guys want to check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, or my blog. They are all linked down below as well always and I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.